Well, I always prefer to look at it from the user's point of view. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but at the same time, if you combine the two, there is something that I find to be very beneficial. We heard at IBC, if you compare what you've seen at the Adobe booth in previous years, it was typically what we've shown at NAB. Now this year at IBC, we're showing over 150 new features across the board. Right? So we have fantastic new features in Premiere Pro. Same thing is true, we have amazing updates for After Effects. We have something really exciting uh, in one of my products, which is SpeedGrade, uh, which I'm shepherding. We have Direct Link, which is direct integration between editing and grading based on the same project file, the same structure, the same everything really, all metadata driven. So we're talking about new features here at IBC. That wasn't really possible before with the old model. Releasing once a year is really the most you could do. And now with the fast pacing industry, with everything changing all around us, it's actually really good for us and our users that we can move at the same pace. We're talking Ultra HD here now at IBC. Well, guess what? We're releasing a lot of format updates. I think we have seven new formats that are 4K or even higher, Dragon 6K would come to mind, that we will be releasing with the October 2013 update to all of our professional video products. So I think that's the exciting part. We can be as fast pacing as required and release as frequently as our users actually need these new features to be as productive as they need to be to keep their basically budgets as well as deadlines, right? So, so more flexibility yeah. and, and more uh, possibilities for, for the users. Uh, but I suppose uh, well, most of this uh, is a question about the demand that you get from the market. Right. What, what are the Adobe community of users telling mm -hmm. you uh, that you should do? Well, we always had a tight relationship with our community. And I'm, I'm really actually proud of how that worked out um, for my particular community as I've been coming through the acquisition of SpeedGrade to the Adobe community. And I was really delighted to see how close you can uh, work together with the community, how much activity there is on forums, how much positive response you get, the feature requests we had. About 90% of our users in the last year said, please make this direct integration between Premiere Pro and SpeedGrade work. And so we did, right? So you actually know that you're doing something that's meaningful to this community. But at the same time, kind of recurring to what I said about the overall change going to the Creative Cloud business model, with subscription, um, I don't have to wait when something's ready to release that. And at the same time, the communication was always close and tight, but if you stretch something across one year, do you actually still remember what the conversation was a year ago, right? We're talking about shorter time frames, and that all by itself really makes it more meaningful because we can respond faster. But at the same time, if you want to introduce another thought, uh, I also noticed that we have a lot of users on basically every product in the professional video realm that have been using other products as well but only recently. So as we're opening up with the complete offer of Creative Cloud, so you have access to every creative tool Adobe is offering with just one subscription, um, we're having a lot of people who are kind of cutting across, leaving the boundaries they've been seeing before or the restrictions that were there by saying, oh, I'm, I'm just a professional video guy or professional photographer, whatever you want to name here or from our perspective, looking to the other part of the business, oh, I'm professional video, what do I care what HTML, sorry, HTML5 does? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we have so many people who are universally talented and with the offering of having all the products available at once, it's very easy to explore what the other tools will do, kind of going into their respective realm. And maybe you'll actually figure out you're really good at something that you didn't know about, but as the tool is available, as the workflow is so open and so many things are connected, you have a really nice experience um, across the board of the creative applications. Certainly the second big advantage from my perspective. <laughs>